I have a YouTube channel and you will show me and my audience respect, okay? Yes, of course. I will always respect you and your audience. Today, we're going to give ChatGPT ears to hear and a voice to speak. We're actually going to take a look at some Python code I put together to convert speech from your microphone directly to text on your computer, pass that text as prompt input to the OpenAI API, and then convert the response back to speech. The great thing about this is that the only external dependency at runtime is on the OpenAI API itself. The speech recognition and text-to-speech functionality all runs on the computer itself. I'll show you a short demonstration of it working after a brief walkthrough, so stick around for that. Let's go straight to it now and see how it works. Remember that as usual, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the code so you can try and modify it for yourself. First, let's look at all the Python library dependencies. The speech recognition itself is provided by the VOSC library that we can install using pip install VOSC. I've got comments with links to resources for you to reference if you're interested in exploring the, the details more. We use sound device for use of the microphone on the PC. For text-to-speech, we need PyTTSX3. And of course, for making use of the ChatGPT engine, we need the OpenAI library. For access to this API, you will need an API key. And for that, you will need an OpenAI account. We talked rather in depth about setting up an account in one of my uh, very first videos, and I'll link to that at the end of this one. The nice thing is that when you sign up, you get plenty of credit to experiment with. A lot of this code is for parsing command line input, so we can skip that since we'll use the default settings, which work just fine. So we get to the main part where we set up the input stream from the microphone and then call the speech recognition engine. One note to make about the speech recognition model being used with VOSC here, uh, we are defaulting to use the English language model, which does a good job at recognition and runs quite quickly. You can choose to use other English models with varying amounts of accuracy. There is a larger, more accurate giga speech English model that can be used as well, but I haven't tried that yet. Models for many other languages are available as well. You can look for more information on the VOSC website. Once we invoke the recognition function, we enter a loop to start detecting speech and doing the conversion. I've written the code so it ignores partial text extractions. So it will wait for entire phrases or prompts. Once that's been detected, then we call the OpenAI API to make use of the chat GPT-3 model. We use the text from speech recognition as the prompt um, input to the API. We then extract the text from the ChatGPT3 API response. That response, in turn, is piped to our text-to-speech function so we can hear it through our PC audio. And that's really it. So let's see a demonstration. What does it mean to tinker? To tinker means to attempt to fix or repair something in an experimental or exploratory way, often by making small changes or adjustments. Give me suggestions of what sort of videos about tinkering I can make. One, how to take apart and rebuild a computer. Two, how to build a robotic arm. 3. How to create a 3D printed device. 4. How to solder electronic components. 5. How to build a DIY wind turbine. 6. How to modify an existing device. 7. How to make a simple lead circuit. 8. How to construct a basic Arduino project. 9. How to build a quadcopter. 10. How to construct a Raspberry Pi project. I have a YouTube channel and you will show me and my audience respect, okay? 
Yes, of course. I will always respect you and your audience. Well, that was it for today. Again, I'll link you to my code from this video so you can try this out for yourself. From this example, you can see how straightforward it might be to create some sort of Alexa type virtual assistant device powered by ChatGPT. I'm sure you can imagine many applications that can leverage this technology that's openly available. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and found it interesting. Until next time, have fun tinkering.